Hi, welcome everyone. I'm a chemical engineering student. Here we are going to show you a solution for one of chemical engineering problem using HISIS or UNISIM program. So, first of all, we open a UNISIM design here. Then, new case. Then add. Then we will add our components here. CO2 then CH4 which is methane and then C okay, which is propylene carbonate alright then we will close this window and then we have to add our fluid package from here add for this problem we will choose PRSV package PRSV all right then we will close this one as well and then we will enter simulation environment from here. All right. Our absorber. Then double click. Here actually we have to name our streams. We have four streams in this problem. The first one is for inlet, solvent, stream. And we have another feed stream for the gas, which is inlet, gas, Exit Gas Stream And we have Exit Liquid Stream All right. Then we click On any space here in this window to let this next appears for us okay then we have to add a pressure which is the same pressure which we have in our problem which is 60.1 atmosphere we will change the unit from here we put it ATM which is atmosphere and similarly here which is atmosphere and similarly here, it will be the same atmosphere. Then next, here we have nothing to do with this, so done. All right. Now this is our absorber. We have to fill all feed streams that we have it. We have two of them here. So let us start by the endless solvent stream. The temperature for the inlet solvent stream is 60 Celsius. Then the pressure is 60.1 atmosphere and we will change the unit from here. Then we have a molar flow rate which is 2,000 kilogram per hour. Okay, now we will go to the composition. So, since we have this stream only for the solvent, so it will be pure solvent, so the composition of CO2 will be zero. The same for methane as well. And for the propylene carbonate, it will be 
one percent because we have been okay right now we have to fill the second feed stream that we have it which is for gas the temperature will be the same 66 degree the pressure is 60.1 atmosphere Okay, now here we have 7,200 cubic meter per hour, which means that this is a volumetric flow rate. Now here we don't have a volumetric flow rate, so we will put it in molar 7,200 and just we will change the unit to be cubic meter per hour as a volumetric flow rate. Then we will go to fill the composition and here we have 20 more percent for the C auto which means 0 0.2 and we have 80 percent for methane which is 0 0.8 and here we don't have our solvent which means that it's zero here all right Now it's done for our absorber and we can double click here and then we'll go to run. We will see the green color here which means that our work is correct. Then we can find any required in our problem. They ask us to find or to determine the concentration of CO2 in the exit gas stream. Here, the exit gas stream. So to determine that, we go here and double click. And then to see the percentage of CO2, we go to the composition. And from here, we can see that for CO2, we have 0.0004000. Now, to determine the column height and the column diameter, we will go to Tools, then Utilities, then Tray Sizing from here, then View Utility. Alright, now we're going to select TS, then press on it here, then OK. After that, we're going to go to Auto Section and then packed because our problem asked us about packed then next then complete auto section now we'll go to performance here packed and here we have the packing results so we have section diameter max flooding section area and we can choose whatever we want here actually we want the column height which is here section height in meter and we also want a column diameter which we can find it here section diameter The second question says, try to remove CO2 from gas stream, 20 more percent CO2 and 80 more percent methane using mixture of 20 percent MEA and 80 percent water use same conditions of problem one. Okay, now here we have to remove CO2 from gas stream with the same previous inlet gas stream conditions, but the only difference will be by using 
a mixture of 20% MEA and 80% water as an absorber or solvent instead of using propylene carbonate as an absorber or solvent. So let us see how we can do this in a simple way. Simply we can click on this beaker here like this and then press on basis 1 double click on it and then view and then from here we can remove our previous solvent which is propylene carbonate remove then we will add our new absorber which is consists of me amine which is this one so add it as pure and also water All right. then we will close this window and return back to simulation environment okay here actually we have to fill our feed streams again so for inlet solvent stream we have the same temper previous temperature and also pressure and also molar flow rate so we have the only thing that we have to do is change changing the composition from here now we will go to our inlet solvent stream to put the new composition for our solvent it will be 0 for CO2 and 0 0.8 for ME amine and 0 0.2 for the water and 0 for methane And now it's done. So if we compare between using propylene carbonate as an absorber and using a mixture of 20% ME amine and 80% water, we can notice the following. The concentration of CO2 in exit gas stream by using propylene carbonate as an absorber or solvent, which is 0 0.000400, is higher than it by using the mixture of 80% water and 20% ME amine as a solvent, which is 0 0.000011, which means that using the mixture of water and ME amine is more effective than using propylene carbonate as an absorber.